What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Creme de la Creme, Creme de la Hala. Uh, finally coming back at you. Football is in the air. We are so close. We're about 50 something days down before fo the football season uh, begins. We're uh, pretty much uh, about two months ago. Two months to go and that's it. And we're back into football. Football mode. To me, it'll take about two more weeks. Once training camp starts, th that to me, football season is on. Uh, we start, look, you know, injuries start beginning to come out and um, final deals and trading deals come out. But we're going to talk about the NFC. The NFC. One of the toughest, the toughest uh, division uh, compared between the NFC, AFC. Everybody knows the NFC is uh, is the harder division to play in, and the the top three teams that have been spoken about in the NFC, of course, Saints, the Rams, and the Eagles, and uh, which is the reason why you see a lot of my videos about the Eagles, about the Rams. I, I try to keep on the loop, not to mention Atlanta. The Panthers and the Bucks. Obviously, those three are in our division, so we keep an eye on them um, as close as possible. But we also look at outside our division, and we look at the other teams in other divisions to see who who leads. Now, I personally feel that the Cowboys should be in the mix of, in the talk in the top three teams. Uh, not to discredit anything from the Philadelphia Eagles, but I'm sorry. Um, I think Dallas actually got you this this year. I think they're a better better team, a better de defensive team. And obviously with the – I'm not going to say that Wentz is not as good as Dak, but um, right now av availability is key. And in the last three seasons – he has uh, he has had tough years. Tough years. He's been hurt uh, twice now. Nick Foles had to pull him out, pretty much pull him out twice and uh, save him. Save last year's a uh, seven and and nine record that he had with the Eagles uh, before he got hurt. And uh, uh, you know here comes Foles in the white shining armor coming in and saves the Eagles season and brings him into. He doesn't he doesn't get him into the the playoffs because last year the Eagles didn't get into the playoffs because they won. They actually got into the playoffs because the Browns lost. So if the Browns would have won, the Eagles would have been um, uh, uh, would have not made the playoffs, something like that. Uh, it was just, it was some crazy crazy scenario which got them in there, but they got in there somehow with a horrible record. But goes to show you that it's not really about your record, it's how you end, yeah, where you end up in the uh, at the end of the of the race. So pretty much we're going to debate all three. To me, if you go with the Eagles, like I said, you're going with Carlson Wentz, who has been he's a great quarterback. Don't don't get me wrong, uh, first round pick and everything, and and it's probably he is. I'm not gonna say he's up there like Foles right now because Foles is the one that got him the Super Bowl. So you can't really put him up there and say, oh, you know, he is the savior right now. Until Wentz doesn't get Philly another Super Bowl, then he won't get credit for the first Super Bowl he won. Am I making myself, you know, am I get, okay. He had an MVP season, the season that the Eagles won that Super Bowl. But if they didn't have Foles as a backup, the Eagles would have not have won that Super Bowl. Guarantee you. So... Does he get credit for for Foles winning the Super Bowl? Could it, you know, he, it's not how you play in the whole season. Remember, this Philly is the second team in history. They're in the top two as to, to to having the biggest fallout in in the entire season. Like they're they're great winning seasons. That they, they went to the Super Bowl uh, twice with McNabb and lost twice and. <laughs> And they just, you know, went from up there to down here. You know, they're the, they're the most winningest team besides uh, the Vikings to really uh, nev never had won the Super Bowl until they won it two years ago. And ever since then, them heads have been swelling up like you wouldn't believe. Like, they go, ooh, the Eagles fan base is starting to become, oh, man, I'm not going to say it. Like, some of the Cowboys fans maybe, a little delusional sometimes. Cowboys, let me tell you something. Now, um, great teams. The Cowboys is de definitely the team that gives us um, a, a more of a better defense than the other that the Rams do, and uh, obviously the Eagles did. I mean, we beat the Eagles forty-eight to seven, and and yes, you got hurt, but we were hurt as well. Okay, so there's not there's not play the oh we were hurt game this that the other. 
it, it, it's uh, injuries part of the game, right? Right now we got we we got hurt and we didn't make it. Well, obviously we didn't make it because obviously we didn't have enough depth in whatever position we we got hurt in. But that's how you build the winning team is by depth and don't and you you did good. You the guys you picked up as cornerbacks were actually as good as your starters. So you know give some credit to your coaching staff for God's sake. Stop using the injury is excuse you took guys that were you know now playing in the league to making them freaking corner back stars you know give give your coach some credit um like i said dallas um they were the only team that without the exception of sean lee sean lee who is you see that man in the linebacking position watch out sean lee's a bad motherfucker but uh, with the new two rookies that just exploded in the linebacker position, Smith, if he stays healthy, yeah, he's, he's, he'll be even, uh, uh, he'll be just as good as, um, as is what I like to call the, uh, the Jesus of the de- defense. I mean, this kid's got the long hair. He's got the, the tall collar, uh, neck, uh, neck brace in the back. You know, he's big dude, fast, uh, intelligent, knows how to read the def- the, the offense. Um, Great tackle, tackler. I mean, it's just he's on there. He's on there. The, 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 he he he's good. The, the the defense on Dallas is is very is very good. They're not as good as as uh, pass blocking as we are. And um, Dallas, is, you know, Dak Prescott. Come on, when we played him last year, we kept it scoreless the whole second half. Yes, you had a let's say a call advantage. Very big drops in the end zone. Um, could you know calls that could have gone either way, like the uh, face mask that you that that uh, Dak received versus our uh, Camara um, helmet to helmet contact, which you know damn nearly almost gave him a concussion. Um, you know it could have gone. In, it was a game that I'd rather see the game that we got coming up now here in the Superdome. That game, I believe, is going to be ridiculous between the, uh, the uh, Dallas and the Saints. It's going to be one of the best games that you've seen in all season because we're we're about to, we're, we're coming angry this year. Now, in our squad, this is my Saints. This is the biggest frustration that I've had that I've gone through in the last three months. Everyone is so hung up on on the fact that that Ingram is gone. Look, we get it. Ingram was. A great running back for us. He did. He played great for us. I appreciate. We appreciate everything he did. But he's gone. He he wanted that money, so he he left. We replaced Ingram with a faster, taller, better hands on the checkdown um, running back in Latavius Murray. Latavius Murray, starting running back for the Vikings, became a backup running back for us, which means he's going to be, his legs are going to be more fresh. He's going to run harder and faster. I guarantee you, this year you will see this. You will, you, 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 a lot of people are not understanding that. Yeah, when you lose that chemistry between two backs and whatever have you, but you don't usually have both backs out there, unless you're using one as a decoy for blocking or for. Uh, one of them is going to be a check down passer, or is, is, he's going to go ahead and uh, he'll probably um, um, move down into the uh, in an audible uh, to the wide wide receiver position, which we do a lot with Camara and we did a lot with Camara and Ingram. But this year we're going to have Latavius, which is a faster, taller, more aggressive uh, uh, back than Ingram. Um, Ingram averaged about five yards per carry, which which Latavius Murray averaged six point four yards per carry, per, per carry. What are you freaking out about? He's, and he's coming in as his, as the backup running back, not even the the starting running back. So when he comes, he's going to come out explosive. In the beginnings of the in the beginning of the of every game, he's he was averaging seven to eight yards. In the beginning of the game, and uh, if he's coming in as a backup, he's going to be even more fresh. He's going to play better. I guarantee you. Then we did the addition of adding Cooks. From, we got the we got a Pro Bowl linebacker from the Raiders. We brought him in, worked him out. Jared Cook has been uh, he has he has been great, and 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 no one no one could can argue that we've finally taken care of the tight end problem that we had. 
Benjamin Watson is great, but, you know, he retired, then he came back. You know, to me, it was just a load of bullshit for him to, uh, uh, you know, get out of the of coming back to New Orleans, I guess. Then I guess he, he didn't want to leave in bad terms. But um, the other argument that there is is about Drew Brees. Drew Brees, whether if he has... Uh, still an arm, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lie to you. Ten years ago, when we won the Super Bowl, or nine years ago, when we won the Super Bowl in 2010, um, Drew Brees' arm was a lot stronger. Yes, it was. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the deep ball pass was ridiculous, a ridiculous threat. We still have Ted Ginn, which a lot of people are like, well, we don't, you don't have a speed guy. We got Ted Ginn. We have <laughs> uh, uh, Keith Kirkwood, which I think is going to have a breakout season also we have uh smith who also is going to have a breakout season um just and, and obviously we got thomas don't don't let's not jump over and i think that we don't have a wide receiver core we do um but it's just not as strong as um it was when we had sneed and all uh, uh graham and all that it's probably right now to me we have as good wide receivers, um, better tight end. Yes, he, uh, Cook is fast. He, 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 the man does one hand catches all day long. Uh, if, if you notice, um, since uh, what's his name? Uh, since we had uh, Shockey, the the need for our tight end position was was huge. Shockey was, uh, um, you know, was our Super Bowl winning tight end. He gave us the idea that obviously in this league to survive you got to have a tight end, and you know that Atlanta was so effective because they had Gonzalez, tight end. Um, when we brought Jimmy Graham, he did great. He he became a star. Once he left, he had not, he has not ever been the same. Jimmy Graham has not played has not had a season as good as he had here in New Orleans. So that's why when we brought Cook in, we, I feel that we fixed that situation. We won't have that problem. For um, anyone that has any comments on our team, and, um, and, and obviously or my quarterback that has passed for over 4,000 yards in the last 13 seasons, you want to talk about a declining quarterback, but he's passed for over 4,000 yards in the last 13 seasons, has broken I don't know how many records. Besides Super Bowl wins, Brady don't touch Drew. You separate, you take Super Bowls out, Brady doesn't touch Drew in stats. So just think about that. You want to, you want to go against that, that quarterback versus a choking golf, a hurt wins. Uh, 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 Dak, then go ahead. My money's on, on uh, Drew all day long in my scenes. If you like this video, please go ahead, hit like and subscribe. Go ahead and also hit that uh, share button. And um, don't forget to put a comment. Negative, positive, it don't matter. If you come at me negative, it's all right. You can have your opinion, but don't come at me crazy because I'll come at you even crazier. It's your boy, Creme de la Creme, Creme de la Holla. Man, where is the Camel Toe Squad? Where have you been at? Still. Uh, 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 Noah, uh, well, Noah, I see, I know you come around, uh, Beast from the East, I mean, where, where, where's everybody at? Holla at your boy, man, peace. Oh, we got a trip coming up next year to Louisville, I mean, uh, next week to Louisville, we're going to be hanging out there, so, so holla at your boy, Creme de la Creme, Creme de la Holla, peace.